what's up, Will here, and today I will be showing you how to make a teleport button GUI. So let's get into this. First thing first, in Starter GUI, click the little plus and add a screen GUI. After that, click the plus next to screen GUI and add a frame. What I'm going to do now is make a little GUI for the teleport button. So let's get into this. Oh, before I start customizing, you're going to want to scroll down in frame and come to size. There's two parts here. The second one in each bracket is your offset. And the offset has to be zero if you want it to fit on all devices. So, yeah, just make that zero and then customize it by moving it around. Same for any GUI item I make. Okay, so now I have customized my GUI. I'm going to need to add another frame to screen GUI. So I'm going to do that right now. But this frame, you need to make the background transparency one. But don't do it yet because you need to see it while you're moving it around. Okay, so you may be wondering why I just put a frame in that's invisible and there's nothing in it. That's because if you want to have any buttons on your left side of the screen or maybe a shop or even to open up this fast travel, then it can't be in the same frame. So I'm going to add a button to open your fast travel up right now. Okay, so now we've got our GUI ready. You may be wondering, does he think this is going to work? It's just a GUI. There's no scripts. Well, I'm... Doing the scripts now, okay? Don't worry, I just wanted to get the GUI out of the way first. So, the first part I'm gonna do is rename these a little though, because if they're not renamed, then it's gonna be hard to find what is what when you're scripting. Okay, so now I've renamed them, we're gonna start adding in scripts. So, the first script I'm going to do is the close one and the open. What I'm gonna do is in close, click the plus and add a script. And what you're gonna wanna do is copy and paste the first script in the pin comments. And what this will do is when you click this little close button here, it will make the TP frame. You will name this one TP frame how this is, or name this whatever your frame is called. And the Visible equals false just makes it invisible. So that's that script done. Then with your open TP, you're going to add a script as well. And copy and paste the first reply to the pinned comment down below. And what this one will do is when you click teleport, it will open up this GUI and make it visible. So now what you're going to do is on the forest teleport, you're going to click the plus and add a local script. But before we get to scripting, you're going to want to click this UI button so you can't see any GUIs and insert a part. Also, if I were you, I would also import a NPC or just a model of an NPC. Make this as thin as possible, I would recommend, just so they spawn exactly where you want them. And the script is going to teleport their lower torso here, which is here. So instead of just doing it exactly where it is, like it is right now, because like you might get stuck in the floor, I'm going to do it a little higher. And then I'm going to get rid of the dummy. Then this part, I'm just going to name this forest. <coughs> I'm just going to name this forest t p and car shadow will be off then come down and make sure anchored is on and can collide is off because if can collide's on they'll just get stuck in it and if anchored's off then they'll just be teleported to where it is and if anchored is off people are able to move it around so you could be spawning off the map when you click teleport 
Then the last thing is, unless you want people to see it, come to transparency and make it one. Now, inside of your script, you can put your UI back on. Now, copy and paste the second reply to the pinned comment in the comment section down below. What this will do is it will wait one second before it starts it all. That's why it's at the very top. And yep, you just check this to make sure it's all correct, which it is. And here, lower torso is what it will teleport. It's underlined, it just does that with lower torso. Don't worry about it. It will come up in output when you start it if there is something wrong. And then here, you need to name it whatever you named your part. I name my part Forest TP, so I name it the exact same thing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click play. And as you can see, our GUI sim, the close button does work. That teleport open button does work. Now, just to make sure you guys know that this isn't fake, I'm going to come to the very, very edge of the map, well, of the base plate, and I'm just going to click teleport. You can do this with multiple buttons, just so you know, and all you need to do is have multiple parts. So we click forest, and there we go. We're back where the part is. So yeah, guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, then please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing because we are so close to 200 subscribers and I put a lot of work and time into these videos to help you guys out on your scripting and developing journey. But until next time, goodbye guys.